In the following video, I will show you how to answer the January 2009 question 7, OCR call 4 question, and again, it's on vectors. Let's take a look. Okay, question 7, a nice 10 marker. It says, show that the straight line with this equation meets the line passing through here and find the point of intersection of these two lines. Okay, well, to show um, that uh, two uh, uh, lines meet, you have to show that their vector equations are equal to each other. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to write this line 1. I'm going to write uh, the vector equation 1 in a different form, as I always do. I'm writing it in one line. I'm just going to say that's 2 plus t. I'm going to say that's minus 3 plus 4 t. And I'm going to say that's 5 minus 2t, so 5 minus 2t, okay? That's a, a sort of slightly neater way of writing those vector equations. So this was a minus 3 here, okay? Now, I need the vector equation of the second line. Well, for a vector equation, I need a point on the line, okay, and the direction to get from one point to the other. So I'm going to take this as my point on the line, and I'm going to say, how do I get from here to here? Well, I get from there to there um, by, uh, by doing that position vector take away that position vector. So, the, so for R2, it's going to be that point. I'm going to take that point as my point on the line, 9, 7, 5. Okay? And it's going to be plus S lots of the direction to get from there to there, i.e. Uh, that vector take away that vector. So that would be 7 minus 9, 8 minus 7, and 2 minus 5. And the vector equation of that line would therefore be R2 would be 9, 7, and 5, okay, plus S lots of minus 2, minus 1, and, oh, sorry, and plus 1, and minus 3. Okay, and combining those like I did in this case here, I would get that to be 9 minus 2s, 9 minus 2s, 7 plus s, and 5 minus 3s, 5 minus 3s. Okay, so for two lines uh, to have a point of intersection to meet, their vector equations must be equal for some t or some s. So let's just write the equivalent equations. If these two things are equal, then I could certainly say that 2 plus t would be equal to 9 minus 2s, and I'd call that my equation 1. I would say that minus 3 plus 4t would be equal to 7 plus s, and that would be equation 2. And I would say that 5 minus 2t would equal uh, 5 minus 3s, and that would be my equation 3. Now, I've got three equations with two unknowns. I just have to solve these simultaneously. Um, what I might do, I want to eliminate um, the, one of the variables here. So what I might do is I might simply, um, let's say, multiply uh, equation 1 by 2. That would give me 4 plus 2t is equal to 18 minus 4s. I would call that equation 4. Okay, now I can consider equations 3 and 4, and if I could add them, that would eliminate the t's. So if I added equation 3 to equation 4, I would get a 9. Minus 2t plus 2t is nothing. 5 plus 18 is 23. And minus 3s minus 4s is minus 7s. Okay? So, uh, may, making s the subject of the formula, or solving for s, subtract 23 from both sides, I would get minus 7s equals minus 14. Uh, so s, therefore, must equal uh, 2. Okay, so s is 2 is one of the answers. I've used equations 1, 3, and 4, so let's find t from one of those. Um, 2 plus, uh, sorry, uh, 9 minus 2 lots of 2, well, 9 minus 4 is 5, and to get t, I'd have to take away this 2, so t must be equal to 3, okay? Now, 
they are what I'm saying are the points where these two uh, lines are equally e equal each other. Let's just check they're working all the equations. Minus three plus four lots of three uh, would be minus three plus twelve, which is nine. And over here, seven plus two is nine, so it works in that equation. And it would work in three and four since I got it from those equations. So s is two and t is three. Uh, make these two equations uh, have the same point. And what is that point? Well, the point of intersection is simply where you put, let's say, t is 3 into this line here. So it would be 2 plus 3 is 5, minus 3 plus 4 times 3, minus 3 plus 12 is 9, and 5 minus 2 lots of 3 is minus 1. Let's just check it would work with S is 2 in the other one. S is 2 here. 9 minus 4 is 5. 7 plus 2 is 9. And 5 take away uh, 6 would be minus 1. So there's our point of intersection done. OK, and now it asks us to work out the acute angle between these two lines. Now remember, uh, when doing this, all I care about is the direction components of the equations of the line and working out the dot product of them. So I'm going to let A be this direction of line 1, which is 1, 4, minus 2. And I'm going to let B be the direction of line 2, which I worked out previously. The direction of line 2 was minus 2, 1, minus 3. So that's going to be minus 2. 1 and minus 3. OK, and to work out the angle between these lines, I am going to need to use the formula that the cosine of the angle between these uh, directions or these lines is going to be equal to uh, a dot b, the dot product of the two, divided by the size of a, the modulus of a, times the size of b or the modulus of b. And let's just work it out, making sure we get an acute angle. OK, well, a dot b, 1 times minus 2 is minus 2, 4 times, minus, uh, 4 times 1 is 4, and minus 2 times minus 3 is 6. You add that together and you get 8. Let's work out the modulus of vector a. Well, that is the square root of 1 squared plus 4 squared plus uh, minus 2 squared, uh, 1 plus 16 is 17, plus 4 is 21, square root, so take the square root of 21. The modulus of vector b, well, it's the square root of minus 2 squared plus 1 squared plus minus 3, all squared. Okay, and 4 plus 1 is 5, uh, plus 9 is 14, so that's the square root of 14. OK, now the cosine of the angle then, plugging this all in, the cosine of the angle between these vectors must be 8, a dot b here, uh, divided by root 21 times root 14. OK. Um, and that, uh, thirds of my calculator, is 4 root 6 over 21. To get the angle... I take the inverse cos of 4 root 6 over 21, okay, and that gives me 62.2 degrees. Um, that's the three significant figures, and it's an acute angle as required. I hope you found that useful in your revision for vectors for core 4. Thank you for listening.